Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day learning from home and that you're ready to take a break and have a little bit of fun with library. So if you were at school on Friday, I dropped off your materials with your teacher. If you were not at school on Friday because you're a Monday, Tuesday kiddo, right outside the library doors, um, kind of like what we did in September, I have everything that you need in a little bag. So if you have an adult in your family that's maybe going to work or gonna pop over to Rosars or get a coffee, and they have two minutes to stop and pop out and grab a library little baggie for you, that would be awesome. If not, that's okay. You can still listen and just catch it up another day. No big deal. All right, so our book for this week is called Snail Crossing. I bought a ton of new stuff lately, you guys, and this one's super, super cute because you know, of course, how like speedy and fast and ninja-like snails are. Oh, wait, not even close, huh? So here we go, Snail Crossing. One lucky day, Snail was out scooting around when he saw the most beautiful sight. What could it be? What could it be? What would a snail think is beautiful? Got an idea? A field of plump, crisp cabbages just across the road. Well, you won't stop me, said the snail to the road. Snail had been traveling for some time when he decided to take a break. Why, I must be nearly there, thought Snail. Phew, that's a long way for a snail. It's really like eight inches or something, but you know, when you're a snail and you're only going a tiny little bit at a time. He was watching the grumbling gray clouds when he felt something coming his way. What it was, Snail couldn't say. Some things are too big and fast for snails to ponder. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the thing. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. Of course, you want to take like a good look at this illustration right here to see kind of something in the background creeping up. Hey, you, you're standing in our way. We've got a road to cross here, yelled a troop of rowdy ants. And they probably would have carried on like that if it hadn't started to rain. Uh-oh, if you're an ant and it's starting to rain, you've got a problem. Rain, cried the ants, help, help, help. Cabbage bound or not, Snail couldn't just leave them there. Come in, said Snail, come in before you drown. And luckily for Snail, of course, he carries his house with him wherever he goes. Tea, asked Snail. Ah, oh, please, thank you. That would be lovely, said the ants. Click. And there you get to see Snail's house. Who would have ever guessed that the inside of a snail shell would be so warm and cozy and fluffy? If only, huh? We're sorry about earlier. Terribly sorry. Sometimes we get a bit antsy, said the ants. Get it? Oh, I know the feeling, said Snail. And he told them all about the plump, crisp cabbages just across the road. Hmm, said the ants. Hmm. When the rain stopped, the ants said, thank you, thank you, thank you, and goodbye. Well, I hope you'll come back soon, said Snail. Count on it, said the ants. And off they went. Now, where was I, said Snail to himself. Ah, yes. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing would stand in his way. Look at that fierce determination. Look at that need to eat all the cabbages. It's very serious. Snail was scooting right along when he noticed something standing in his way. Lunch, said the hungry crow. Well, you can't eat me, said Snail. Can't you see I'm cabbage bound? Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> He's trying to be like ninja-like and escape. Yeah, but you're only going like an inch per second. Honk, honk. And just like that, the hungry crow is gone. Snail was very relieved, but a little dizzy from all that spinning. Mm. Cabbage bound, I'm cabbage bound. Head in the clouds, foot on the ground, I'm cabbage bound. Now, of course, you can see Snail has created kind of a bit of a predicament for himself. He got going across the road. He paused to save the ants from the rain. He got distracted by a crow trying to eat him and tried to escape. And now he thinks He's headed for some cabbage. Uh-oh. Small problem. Snail scooted 
and scooted and scooted and hooray, I made it. But where was the cabbage? Well, shoot, dead snail. It's kind of a bad feeling when you realize you've done all that work for nothing. But what was that on the horizon? Could it be? It was! The cabbage was coming to snail? Is this like a magical cabbage? Is it like rolling down the hill? What could possibly be happening? Hooray! said snail. Snail bound! We're snail bound! And of course, just like all good things in the world, when you do something kind for somebody else, lots of times something kind is done for you. Thank you, he said to the ants. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the new friends went inside for cabbage, soup, and tea. And no one felt antsy at all. Cute, huh? Short and sweet and darling. It's a 2.3 if you're taking an AR test in your life today since you're at home and you maybe have some extra time. Not a bad idea, right? So if you were at school on Friday and you have your snail pieces, this would be when you would grab out your snail. You're probably going to need a pair of scissors. Makes sense, huh? And maybe a glue stick or a bottle of glue. So job number one is that you're going to cut out your snail and you're going to cut out your leaf. So your snail, you're just going to go right up this light gray line all the way up to the top of the eyeballs. You can either go straight across or if you're feeling kind of fancy, you can go right inside and in between his eyeballs and all the way back down to the bottom. So you're gonna, like I just said, cut all the way up, slow and steady. Don't cut on any of the dotted lines because dotted lines are for folding. Okay, and all the way back down so that your snail looks like this, long and skinny. Okay, then you're gonna take your leaf. If you're feeling extra crazy, you can cut on every single squiggly line on your leaf. But chances are good, you might just want a bubble cut, which is like when you get close-ish, but you leave a little chunk on the outside so that it doesn't take 45 years of cutting to get in every nook and every cranny of your leaf. So now I have a snail cut out and I have a leaf. Ta-da! Okay, then you're going to want to color your snail because white ghost snails are no fun and are boring. So maybe you're going to add some fun pattern. Maybe it'll be a Christmas snail. Maybe it'll be a turkey in disguise as a snail so that nobody eats him. I don't know. You can get creative. Okay, but then you'll fold in two places. You'll see that there's like the little dash line going across here and the little dash line going across here. So you'll bend Snailio's little head back. Poor guy. Give it a good fold, make it nice and crispy. Okay, same thing right under here. This is gonna be the bottom of our snail. We're gonna fold and crunch it really well so it's nice and crisp creases. And then it looks like he has this weird giant creepy tail. Okay, this is what we're gonna roll into our shell. So you're just gonna kind of start at the top and roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. Keep going all the way till you get to the bottom where there's nothing left. And then whoop, you let it go and ta-da, snail shell. So that's when you would put a little bit of glue on the bottom, put it on your leaf, and you now have a new best friend. It's Mrs. Browning Jr. Isn't he fabulous? Okay, on the slide that I'm posting, you also are gonna see a couple of other stories that you could listen to if you want to. One of my favorite ones is Norman the Slug who desperately wants to be a snail so badly that he gets ever so creative with all of his shell options. You'll see that you have a Norman in your packet as well. And if you're feeling kind of silly, you can get some ideas of maybe some other things that Norman could use for a shell. You know, pizzas, bowling balls, baseballs, whatever you can come up with. All right. I hope you guys have a great day at home and I can't wait to see you after Thanksgiving when you can tell me about all the turkey you ate and how you're you know, pants hardly fit anymore because of all the mashed potatoes. It's a problem. Have a great day, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.